Hello, amazing people. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So I've got to run errands. So you guys are coming with me. And I wanted to talk to you about something that's very important. So I had mentioned that there was a third attempt on Trump's life the other day from a gentleman named Vim Miller. Here's a picture of him. A lot of you asked me to deep dive that because you're like, oh, Sam, it's a, it's a cover up. It's not what it seems. So I did what you asked me to do. And I'm not sure you're going to like my opinion or what I found. First off, let's start with this. Vim Miller is part of what they call the sovereign movement. And somehow that has been attached to MAGA and Christian nationals and conservatives. Here is my personal opinion about the sovereign movement. It's BS. Okay. Now I know that's going to upset you, but don't turn it off. Let me explain to you why. Here are several people who have tried and failed to not file taxes, to put liens against elected officials, to drive around with their homemade license plates and driver's license, going to jail in multiple states. So this is how I feel about that. The sovereign movement encourages people to believe that the U.S. was co-opted and is now a corporation. Is that true? Probably. But we still work underneath a constitution that ensures your rights. However, you are not going to get away with fake IDs made up under the sovereign movement claiming that is a real ID. And that is what happened to Vim Miller when they say that they found fake IDs and fake passports. It's true. Now, he claims that they didn't, and I'm going to show you a video with him claiming that that is not true, but it is. Those are fake because they were made by you. They were not made by a government entity, so they hold no weight in a courtroom or to a police officer. You couldn't leave the United States with their fake passport. Now, if you remember when I was in Maui, the king of Hawaii offered to give me a sovereign Hawaiian nation passport. That will hold up. That is legitimate because Hawaii was never properly annexed into the United States. That's two different topics, folks. So I have always been of the mindset follow the laws in your area. And if you don't like the laws, run for office and then get those laws changed, which I am going to do. I know nothing about a police jury, but I've got two years to learn so that I can influence my community in a conservative way. See what I'm saying? Instead of just complaining, I, I'm going to try to take power from people who just do nothing where I live. And that's what I encourage all of you to do. I do not encourage you to go down the sovereign nationalist movement way. It makes absolutely no sense. I'm a very critical thinker. If you've watched any of my videos, like I am, <laughs> I am a very critical thinking person. And I can look at something and poke holes in it. So let me poke holes in Vim Miller's entire story for you. Because it's going to look like cheese when I'm done. You drove across state lines with firearms that you claim you have never used. You have never shot. But they were loaded. Can, can I even just let me stop right there? How ignorant can you be to own a firearm and it be loaded and you have no firearm training? That's like getting behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler loaded with flammable products and then driving it and you have never been trained 
properly. You you don't even know where to put the ignition key in, but you're gonna you're gonna move that 18 wheeler across state lines. If if I was even somebody that was going to listen to what this man said, as someone that wants to protect her Second Amendment rights, his admitting that he had a shotgun with multiple rounds and a handgun yet they were both loaded and he had never shot them at all and knew nothing he was a baby by his own words where guns are concerned how foolish can you be so you're you're afraid for your life you you purchase guns you load them you cross state lines without bothering to see the difference in the state that you purchase them and the state that you're going, the difference in gun laws and requirements for guns, and then you want to complain that you got in trouble, okay? But the worst part is that you attempted to go into a Trump rally with said loaded guns. Folks, don't make me vomit this early in the morning. If you are listening to this man, please stop. Because that right there, that right there, that's all I needed to know about him. He's a victim. He's a, he's a victim. And I, I, I can't do those types of people. You set yourself up. In fact, I, I'm going to go as far as to say he wanted to be arrested. Because I heard him this morning within the first two minutes of his rumble presentation say, I knew we were going to go viral in a big way. Well, yeah, anybody can go viral in a big way, except especially when you take loaded guns into California and then attempt to go into a Trump rally with said loaded guns with a fake license plate with a fake ID. Come on, folks. I guarantee you he didn't buy those guns with his fake sovereign nation ID. He had to present a United States ID. That tells you right there that everything he's ever told you about the sovereign nation is BS. It's BS. And he knows it. But it's his meal ticket. So he's going to ride that train until the wheels come off. And people are going to gobble it up because they can't think for themselves. There's no simple way out of what we've done to this country. Wake up. We have allowed it to become the mess that it is. And as Christians, even if you're not a Christian, as a human, as a citizen of this country, you're going to have to put the time and the work in to fix it. There's no simple way out of it, folks. That's what the sovereign nation is. It is offering you a simple fix to a big problem. And that right there should be a warning bell to all of you. Don't pay your taxes. Go ahead, friend. Don't pay those federal taxes and see what happens to you. That's all I'm going to say on that. That's the most ignorant thing. As a citizen, it is your privilege. Now, are we overtaxed? Heck yeah, we're overtaxed. And I'm furious about it. I talk about that all the time. But let me make something very clear to you. I was excited to move out of the poverty where I didn't have to pay taxes, where I received a little bit back, into the Sam's now paying her way because she's a productive citizen of the United States. You can't expect to ever have any real wealth in this world and not pay taxes. So if you're of the mindset that I never want to pay taxes, I'm not going to pay them, then enjoy being broke and poor for the remainder of your life. Now, I know that that's going to make me unpopular, but I've never done this for popularity, folks. I've done this because people simply can't think for themselves anymore, and I'm desperately trying to wake people up. Stay away from anybody that claims that they are innocent in the fact that they attempted to bring loaded weapons into a Donald J. Trump rally after two attempts on his life. This man is not a victim. He's a pariah. And, and I'm sorry, if you listen to him and just love him, then go on and continue to listen. Because he's going to mislead and misrepresent what MAGA and, and Christians and Republicans are all about. 
He's the person that makes all of us look insane to the rest of the world. So I want nothing to do with this man. Like, I, I am just frustrated even having to make this video. Because the little bit of digging I did, he just smelt bad to me. He just smelt bad. Excuse after excuse. I watched him on the news. Be a, and, and an attorney was actually trying to talk to him. And he had one excuse after another. He had, he wouldn't even admit what they actually arrested him on. He was like, oh, there were misdemeanors. They're not supposed to arrest you for misdemeanors. Yes, they can, especially when they're gun charges. Are you kidding me? Know the law you live in, the state you're in. So I hope that this helps. I'm going to let you hear him for himself. But I wanted to tell you, I think he got what he deserved and he can sue whomever he so chooses. It's not going to work. He's, he's going to be found guilty because he actually did what they said he did. Like it or not, those are the facts. Love you guys. Remember, we don't have to agree. But the one thing I'm always going to do is I'm going to give you the unabridged truth. I just, you know, he and I couldn't be friends. That's, that's all I'm saying. We, we wouldn't have anything in common. I mean, I guess we could have a cup of coffee together, but I wouldn't want my picture with him. Because he makes the rest of us look bad. And that's the truth. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of this. That uh, you're, you're being given information. And, uh, you know, uh, so let's vet some of that information. I was never, there was never a bail in this situation at all whatsoever. That is a lie. Uh, they're saying, I can't believe the sheriff even nodded his head when you mentioned the $5,000 bail because it's non existent. Uh, in fact, I have the ticket that they gave me uh, right here in front of me. You know, this is the ticket that they actually gave me. And this ticket cites two uh, things on there. Um, and those are essentially, so I'm coming from Nevada. I don't know much about the gun laws in California. I've never owned guns in uh, Cal uh, in, in California. I've owned guns in Nevada. In Nevada, you know, you're allowed to have the mag loaded up in the gun. Apparently in California, they have to be separated. The other thing, and you know, frankly, I've been very upfront in my uh, interviews thus far in the statement that I've released, I am a gun absolute novice. I'm like a kindergarten kid when it comes to gun. The only reason I have these guns is because I run something called the America Happens Network, where we produce over 800 episodes of content, a lot of it dealing with exposing corruption, exposing corrupt officials at americahappens.com. And within a lot of the content that we've done, we've done things certainly that uh, show criminal elements within uh, our judicial ranks, our lawyers, politicians, you know, authorities in general that are not doing uh, things according to law that are operating within the color of law. And so uh, when I have done that kind of work in 2022, I started receiving death threats, and these are documented via Vem, email. Vem, just, to, just to interrupt you here, just to interrupt you here, two things. One, I, I've heard you say that before, that it was for your protection. The first question I think a lot of people would have is, okay, but why did you bring these weapons, including a loaded handgun, the fake passports, what you, I imagine, will say is not uh, fake uh, press credentials, but a fake driver's license, all to this rally. You could understand why people would say that's strange and why you needed to be detained. That's the question. Why'd you bring it there? So, so, so those are all false allegations. I didn't have fake passports. They're valid passports. I didn't have fake IDs. That, that's a false allegation. But are you saying all the, all, this is being reported by multiple agencies, and including from the sheriff's office. You're saying everybody's getting it wrong about what happened? Uh, the FBI and Secret Service have come out and said that I was no threat. They now they saw no threat, so they've been very. But there's clear a difference, though. There's a difference then, between you not being a threat, you not being an attempted assassin, versus you having illegally possessing weapons and having these faked uh, documentation. Are you saying that part is not true? That is 100 percent false. So the, when you're, I'm putting this up here. You're saying the sheriff's office is essentially lying about what happened. Oh, yeah, the sheriff's office is lying, and they're about to get hit with a lawsuit. The sheriff is going to be investigated. He's going to lose his position. The deputy sheriff that was part of this is going to be investigated. He's going to lose his position. There's going to be a massive lawsuit. And Vem, this, uh, Vem, yeah. the, the little ticket you put up, were you arrested? No, were you arrested? No, well, I was, no, no sorry. I was, I, was, I was arrested, yes. And so what were you arrested for? If you say all this is what was the charges you were arrested on? So I was arrested for misdemeanors. 
What were the misdemeanors? Which is, on, which is actually you don't arrest people for misdemeanors. And this is why this process is completely and absolutely ridiculous. What they've said is absolutely ridiculous. I don't have fake IDs. And none of this is true. And this is demonstrably true. And if you want to hear what that is, I could demonstrate to you how it is demonstrably untrue. And you could have this little uh, exclusive here. Uh, showing that what they've said is untrue, and we're actually looking at a corrupt sheriff. We're looking at a sheriff that wants to be governor. He's trying to use this situation to basically boost his name. Uh, he has political aspirations. I know that for a fact. We've done our research. I run an organization called AmericaHappens.com where we've done investigative journalism for but, but I mean, them, quite a them, while. Just to, just to bring you back here, are you saying that you were specifically targeted by the sheriff and law enforcement or that 